Saint of the Day, Saint Ita of Kiledi. Saint Ita was of royal lineage. She was born around the year 470 at Dacia's Waterford, Ireland. Her birth name was Deidi. In her youth, Ita dreamed that an angel gives her a three precious stones. She was puzzled at that time, but thankfully another celestial visitor explains to her in a vision that throughout her entire life, Ita will experience dreams and visitations and the stones in the dream signifies the gifts of the father son and holy spirit to whom she dedicates her life when she reached the marriageable age her father wished her to marry a noble young chieftain but from an early age she wanted to consecrate herself to god and serve him after she had fasted for three days an angel appeared to her father and told him to let her pursue her desire to enter the religious life he consented to her wishes and bishop declaim of adamor bestowed her veil upon her accompanied by her sister fiona saint ita traveled to high cunel in county limerick to a place called clan Creedale, which some have interpreted to mean meadow of faith where she founded and became the abbess of a convent that attracted many irish women to become nuns it is now called kiledi or ita cell in the old celtic tradition children were sent to her convent for fostering leading saint ita to found a school for young boys thus saint ita gained renown for being the foster mother of the saints of ireland the convent became known as a training ground for young boys many of whom became famous churchmen she received sir saint brenda the voyager when he was only a year old and kept him until he was 6 once he asked her what were the three things god loved the most and saint ita replied a pure heart with true faith in god a simple life with a religious spirit and open handedness inspired by charity when he asked her what were the three things god hated the most she answered a scowling face obstinacy in wrong doing and too great in a confidence in the power of money saint ita worked miracles healed and prophesied in one instance she is said to have reattached a head to a man who had been decapitated and another story recounts her living of food given to her from heaven recalling the manna given to the ancient hebrews in the desert in another story a wise man lost his speech and came to saint ita to be cured before she had even finished praying for him the wise man was cured once a nun who was under her care committed the sin of fornication When Saint Ita asked her why she had in guarded her virginity, the nun denied her sin. Saint Ita then told her exactly where she had committed the sin and what had happened. After which the nun became contrite and did penance, knowing that Ita was a prophet. Saint Ita died on January fifteen, circa five seventy. To this day, her grave is in the ruins of Sillade, a Roman square church in Kiledi, where a monastery once stood, is always decorated with flowers. There is a holy well nearby, the water from which is reputed to have cured everything from smallpox to warts over the centuries. A lullaby. to the 
infant Jesus was inspired by her. Some say she herself was the author, others say it was written by an anonymous 9th century poet inspired by her life. This lullaby is called Jessikin. Her feast day is 15 January which is a local holiday in the district and her name is a popular one for Irish girls. Saint Ita of Kiledi, pray for us.